So if you bought your OnePlus 3 and you're looking for a little more customization with the same overall experience as Oxygen OS, well here's something to check out. Hey guys, Miles Somerville here with XDA TV, and today we're going to be checking out Freedom OS for the OnePlus 3. So Freedom OS is essentially a modified version of Oxygen OS. So when you first flash it, you can choose between which apps you want to be pre-installed using the Aroma installer, debloating it to your specification. So everything you want from Oxygen OS and more can be found in this ROM. You have the OnePlus launcher along with Shelf and all of OnePlus's other features. The first major thing that comes with Freedom OS is Viper for Android FX. This app allows you to completely modify your audio experience. You can boost the volume of the phone's speaker and tweak the overall strength of the audio coming out of the OnePlus 3 speaker. You can also modify the audio experience coming out of your Bluetooth devices, as well as USB connected audio devices and headsets. It's honestly one of the best ways to modify your audio experience. Freedom OS also comes with Adaway, which allows you to remove ads from your apps and certain websites. Now, while I really haven't felt the need to use it, I'm sure other people will. One of my favorite features of Freedom OS is the Layers theme engine, and while it's been out for a while now, I haven't really heard much about it, so it's pretty new to me. It's essentially an alternative to the Signage Mod theme engine, and instead of just tweaking the UI, icons, and navbar buttons, you can specify which apps you want to be themed that are compatible with the layer. I'm currently using the sky blue layer. It's very clean, simple, and I love how it changes the way my apps look. So there really aren't nearly as many layers as there are Signage and Mod themes, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how this develops over time in the future. So if you don't know what sets the OnePlus 3 stock ROM Oxygen OS apart from other ROMs, I'm just going to go over most of the tweaks it has to offer. First off, there's a system-wide dark mode, so it won't change the way your apps look, but it basically blacks out the settings, notification center, volume center, and all that stuff. And since the OnePlus 3 is an LED light up top for notifications, you can tweak the colors for certain notifications as well as for charging. You can also change what icons appear on the status bar, so stuff like Wi-Fi, alarms, and cellular data. Freedom OS also comes with Oxygen OS's button tweaks, so you can choose between on-screen and hardware buttons, as well as changing the actions of long pressing the home, recent, and back buttons. So other than that, this is probably the best ROM out there for the OnePlus 3 right now. It's definitely just as stable as stock, and you can customize even more things in this ROM to your liking. This is likely going to be my daily driver ROM for the OnePlus 3 going forward, so make sure to subscribe for future content like this, as I will be testing out CM13 on this phone pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.